Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to create document from Google Forms responses and send on WhatsApp. Now, let's say that I run online courses and here every time I receive an enrollment request through form submission. Now, here I have used Google Forms. Then automatically with all the details of the students, a document should be created and then the same document should be sent to the student through WhatsApp for verification. Now to do this, we will have to integrate Google Forms with Google Docs and WhatsApp by AI Sensei. And the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be Google Forms. Then my action applications will be Google Documents and WhatsApp by AI Sensei. Now you can automate and integrate this entire process yourself. To understand how, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box has appeared and here you will have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to create document from Google Forms responses and send on WhatsApp. Now I'm going to click on create. And as we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger. Another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action here says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now, let's understand this with the help of an example. So, every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get a response on WhatsApp or SMS about the amount debited. Now, how does that happen with the help of automation? In such a case, your trigger will be the payment gateway and your action will be any application with which you can send these WhatsApp or SMS. Now, let's come to our use case. So here my objective is that every time a form is filled, so you can use any form builder application here, I'm going to use Google Forms. So the moment this form is filled with the information, I want to create a document and then send it to the person who has just filled up the form on WhatsApp. So here I'm going to choose Google Forms. Now the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run and here it will be new response received, which means that this workflow is going to run every time a new response is received. Now here you can see we have received this webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and Google Forms. So I'm going to copy this. Once I do that, here is the help text given. Please read this carefully. Let me exactly show you what we have to do. So this here is my Google form and here I already have created a form. The name is enrollment form. Let's see the fields. So we have first name, last name, email address, contact number, course name. And the last one is what is your objective for joining the course? Now here we have to go to the last field and you can see the required option. So please toggle this towards the right so that the moment this entire form is filled and this last field is filled, then automatically a response will be received. Now, once this is done, go to responses, click on the three dots, select destination for responses. So basically every time you receive a response, it is saying that either the response can be added in a new spreadsheet or you can select an existing spreadsheet. So here I'm going to select a new spreadsheet. Click on create. You can see linking to spreadsheet and now the spreadsheet has been linked. I'm going to view the same in sheets. So here we can see the sheet has been created. I'm going to quickly format it a bit so that it is absolutely visible to you. So here we have got all the fields including one which is timestamp. This is going to record the date and time of the response received. Now I'm going to take you back to Google Forms. Let's go to preview. And now I'm going to fill up this form. Let's say the first name here is dummy. Then the last name here is person. Then we have the email address which is dummy at pablitudes.com. Then we have the contact number, which is plus nine one. 
This is just a test number. Then the name of the course. Let's say this particular person has applied for personality development course. So what is your objective for joining the course? So here I'm going to write, I want to enhance my confidence. Now, of course, you can create a form as per your objective and with all the fields you want. I'm going to click on submit. So we can see that the form has been submitted, taking you to the Google Sheet. You can see we have received the data. Now, once I have received this data, what is my objective? I want to link this Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. To do that, let's go to extensions, go to add-ons, get add-ons. Here we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. Here I'm going to look for Pabli Connect webhooks. And as I do that, you can see that this particular application has already been installed. Now, what you have to do is first you have to make sure that it is installed in your system, then close this window. And then we have to wait for the few seconds, refresh this page. Do not forget to refresh the page. And once you have done that, go back to extensions. And here you would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks. Let's go to initial setup. Now here you can see that the system has selected the sheet and here this webhook URL that we had received, I'm going to copy the same here and paste. Then the trigger column. Now trigger column is the final data column where the data is added. And as per our sheet, the final data column will be column G. So here I'm going to mention G, click on submit. And as we do that, we can see that the configuration is all set. Let's click on send test. And here we can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Let's go to public connect and quickly check the same. And yes, here you can see we have received the response. Now we want that every time a new row is added here, then automatically the response should be shared with public connect. To do that, we are going back to extensions, public connect webhooks. Here you can see send on event. As you click on this, you will see a tick mark right in front. Let me show you the same. You can see this mark. Now this makes sure that the moment data is added here, then automatically public connect receives it. Now once this is done, I'm going to take you back to public connect. Now I wish to create a document from a template with this information. So I'm going to click on action step and here I'm going to choose my next action application as Google Docs. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to create document from template. Let's click on connect. Here, Pavli Connect wants to connect with Google Docs account. Let's click on add new connection, sign in with Google. Here we have to choose an account with which our document is created. And now Pavli Connect Drive wants to access my Google account. So here I'm going to click on allow as this is absolutely secure. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now, once this is done, here we have to enter the template document's name. So here, first of all, I'm going to take you to my Google Docs. And you can see this here is the template document that I have created. Let me show you. So course name, then here the course name will appear, then the student's name, email address, contact number and objective for joining the course. So taking you back to Pabli Connect, here I'm going to select template document. Then we have the new document's name. So I am going to map the information how. So as I click on this, you can see the previous step. So here I'm going to take the last name of the person and then I'm going to also add the name of the course. In between, I'm going to put a hyphen. So this is how I have named this document. And the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now, let's say that I had written this name manually. Then when I had received some new response with new information, it wouldn't have taken that. Instead, it would have taken the same manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. Now here, new documents location. So here in my Google Drive, I have created a folder which is contest demo folder. So I am going to add this document there. Then the name of the course. So let's map the information. The name of the course is personality development course. The name here is dummy. I'm going to give a space and this is the last name. Then we need the email address of the person. Here it is, contact number. This here is the contact number and then we need the objective. So this here is the objective. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Now as we do that here, we have received the response. 
which means that this document has been created and this here is the document ID. Let's go and check the same. So I'm going to take you to Google Docs and here you can see that yes, we have received a document. The document has been created with all the required details. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. What is my objective? I want to share this particular document with the person, but before that, I need to make sure that this particular document is a public file. For that, I'm going to add another action step. This time the application here will be Google Drive. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to share a file with anyone. I'm going to click on connect. And here again, Public Connect wants to connect with Google Drive account. Let's select add new connection, sign in with Google. So here I have selected the account and now I have to provide the access for this. I'm going to click on allow and here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Google Drive and Public Connect are now connected. Now I'm going to go down and here we have to enter the file ID. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on this mapping button delete this go to step two and as i take you down this here is the document id now let's click on save and send test request and as we do that here we have received the response according to which this particular file is a public file now let's go and check the same so this here is the file and here you can see that it is public on the web now i'm going to take you back to Pabli connect and here i'm going to add another action step and my final action application here will be WhatsApp by AI Sensei. So this is the application with the help of which I'm going to send the WhatsApp message. The action event will be to send template message. Let's click on connect. So here public connect wants to. So here public connect wants to connect with WhatsApp by AI Sensei account. I'm going to select add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need this API key. For this, first we have to log into our WhatsApp by AI Sensei account. I already have done that. Then you have to go to manage API key and generate API key. So this here is my AI Sensei account. Here on the left hand side, we have manage. Then we have to go to API key. This here is the API key. I'm going to click to copy, go back to public connect, paste the same here and click on save. So here we can see that the connection is all set. Now here we have to fill in this information, the name of the campaign, mobile number, etc. So to understand this again, I'm going to take you to AI Sensei. Now here I have already created template messages. So let me show you the template that I have created. So this here is the template. Now here you can see the messages here. Then there's a number within double curly braces. We have received your submission for another number. Attach is a document with the detail shared by you. Please confirm the same by replying to this message. In case of any issue, please connect with the support team at support at pablitudes.com. Regards, ABC Limited. Now, this is a template that I have created. On these numbers within double curly braces are variables, which means that every time you receive a new response, then these numbers can be changed. The values here can be changed. So that's how it becomes personalized. Now, I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to take you to campaign because I have added this template to this campaign, which is enrollment confirmation. So what is the campaign type API message type is this. Then we have the template name here. We have the created date and time. This here is our template. So I am going to quickly copy the name of the template. Go back to public connect paste the same here. Let's delete the refresh part. Next, we have the mobile number. So let's go to step one. And this here is the mobile number. Remember that the mobile number has to be written with the country code and the plus sign. Then we have the user's name. So let's map the same. Go to step one. This here is the first name. Give us space. This here is the last name. Then we have the source. So here I'm going to write Google Forms. OK, so you can give any other source as well. Now, next is the tag. So here I want to give the tag as per the name of the course. Then we have the template parameter, which means that in the template that we have created. So we have to add the value of the variables. Now here we had two variables. First, the name for the name. I'm going to go and add the first name. And then we had the name of the course, which is this. Now, if you wish to enter attributes, then you can enter the attributes in the way it is given here. 
Next is the URL and the file name. So for the URL, I'm going to click on this, go to step three. And this here is the URL. For the file name, again, I'm going to go to step three and this here is the file name. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see we have received the response which says that it is a success which means that a message must be received by the person. Let's go and check the same. And here you can see we have received the message. Let's open this so you can see this here is a document attached and here we have our message. So this basically means our integration is a complete success. Let's check the same in real time. So now I'm going to take you back to Google Forms. Let's preview the form. And let's say this time the first name is smart. The last name is user123. Then we have the email address which is smart at pablitudes.com. Then we have the contact number which is plus 91. Next we have to enter the name of the course. Let's say the name of the course is spoken English course. What is your objective? To learn English. Simple. Let's click on submit. Now, as soon as this form has been submitted, automatically a WhatsApp message must be received and this document should be created. First, I'm going to take you to the documents, Google Docs. And here you can see that this particular document has been created. So this is the name of the course. And here we have got all the details. Now, I'm going to take you to the WhatsApp. And here you can see another message has been received. So this means our integration is a complete success. Taking you back to Public Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger was Google Forms where the event was new response received. Once we had received the response, we had created a document from template using the application Google Docs. And then we had chosen the application Google Drive to make this file public. And final action application was WhatsApp by AISNC where we had to send a template message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.